Along we go, but Galilee go tell all disciples that our Lord is risen today. Come we go, but Galilee go tell all. This stage reading of excerpts from Easton Lee's The Rope and the Cross honors his memory. Father Easton Lee died on January 19, 2021, exactly one month before his 90th birthday. The Rope on the Cross was specially written for St. Barnabas Church, Silo, St. Elizabeth, from where the inspiration came. The play was first produced in 1979 and had its premiere at St. Barnabas on Easter Day, April 15, that year. The play had its genesis years before as a poem which was shared with the late Sheila Barnett of the National Dance Theatre Company, the NDTC. After incubation of a few years, Sheila Barnett choreographed what would become the iconic dance, The Rope and the Cross, for the NDTC. On seeing the dance inspired by his poem, Easton was moved to expand the poem, which he later developed into a play. For several years, the rope and the cross would be performed in churches across Jamaica at Easter time. Some of Jamaica's best appeared in the production. Leonie Forbes, Barry Johnson, Grace McGee Brown, Alwyn Scott, Rooney Chambers, Marguerite Newland, and Jeffrey Fairweather. I played Sarah, Judas's girlfriend. Did you know that Judas had a girlfriend? What was the real trigger for this iconic work, you might ask? This poem, and subsequently the play, came about as a result of a conversation Easton Lee overheard between his mother and Aunt Rose, who sold bammies on the shop piazza. Aunt Rose made this poignant remark. You know, we all forget that Judas did have a mother too. And now I quote the playwright Easton Lee. That statement stayed with me for a long time. And I decided to write a play based on the mother of Judas and Mary, the mother of Christ. And perhaps what might have happened if the two women met, end of quote. We are pleased that three of the original actors were available to participate in this staged reading of excerpts from The Rope and the Cross. They are Leonie Forbes, mother of Judas, Alwyn Scott, who played Judas, and Grace McGee Brown, mother of Christ. In all Jamaican communities, there is a storyteller character. In The Rope and the Cross, the character is named Shepherd. In this stage reading, Shepherd is being read by Glenn Campbell. Playwright Easton Lee created the characters Miss Birdie and Miss Vi, two Jamaican mothers, who will then go on to inhabit the roles of Mother of Judas and Mother of Christ, read by Leonie Forbes and Grace McGee Brown. Well, Greetings and salutations, beloved. It is a great pleasure to be here this day and to welcome you all, some from far, some from near, some old, some young, some tall, some short, some fat, some marker, some pretty, and some not so pretty, some believers and some non-believers, some backsliders, but nevertheless, all friends, and all welcome in the name of the Holy One whose day we celebrate. Now, we're going to start the story right here in Silo, under a certain shop piazza, not so long ago, perhaps before Samayobar, but time don't matter today. 
because the story is the same year in, year out. Generation to generation. This is a timeless tale and is a burden of civilization. And don't bother tell me no rubbish. What you do with all the money you get from the coffee? They may not tell your mama. Tell me what? You expect me to believe that story? We you not go put on lie and take up teeth? But what mama? It don't call me no mother. And I don't want to hear you call me mother. Then you that my mother? If you never born a yard, I would swear that then swap your hospital, you all good for nothing, something. Mama, believe me now. I will give you back the money and more too. Must be when me dead. You just like your old pupa. Full of sweet mouth and promise and don't what a thing. You know what is true? Just go find something do and leave out the politics for a hit kill you old worthless pupa and it will be the, the, the destruction of you. Hey mama, don't you know that politics is the business of the country? And what about your dead father business? You should be looking after the place. Seeing to the coffee. It's not many father dead left yet here land, you know. But mama, you know I don't like the field work. It's not that I think it degrading or nothing, you know, but I just can't manage it. I don't want I to hear another word from you. Just go bring me money, come give me. You will not have anything to worry about. Taxes for pay, the house to fix, and a host of other different obligations to meet. So don't come back in here till you bring the coffee money, come give me. Also help me, I go and send police, come look for you. Never know I would have lived to see the day when I have to regret that I birthed you. Politics, politics, politics. I must be them teach you. F -f 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 promise. For that's all that some of them do. From I was born. But you watch me and him. Morning, Miss Birdie. Yes, couldn't Jude and you catch up this early morning? What did Miss Vi? It's him same one, yeah, ma'am. Mm. The boy try me feet, you see. <laughs> what will you do? Now you own already. You know, Miss Vi, sometimes I wish that I never have him. Sometimes I wish God didn't take him when he was so mad. Ay, ma'am, I know. But you have to bear it. It's only a woman who really birthed one can know the heartache where a mother got through, you know. For some time, they really give you a hard time. <laughs> you take Christopher him. Sometimes I feel for just lick him down. God, ma. Christopher not give you no, no trouble. trouble. He might be betrayed. And from uh, what I see, the carpenter work is well up these days. Mm. All dude do from morning to night is chat about politics and social justice and <laughs> brotherhood. Every heart know it own sorrows you hear, ma'am. And it's not for the want a tongue make cow no talk. Chris no talk too much, you know, but him spend a lot of time with group work and social work. Sometimes I don't see him. Aye, ma'am. Sometimes it's hard, you know. You just have to pray, yeah, ma'am. And ask God to give you the faith to deal with them. Young people not like us, you know. Them no easy. Then little, then tangle your foot. Then grow up. Then tangle your heart. True, ma'am. Mm. By, by the way, you going to church tomorrow? I, I'm not even sure you know, Miss Birdie. For I'm a little tired of the same old sermon every good Friday. And tell you the truth, the trio was long for true. <laughs> I, I think I will go, you know, for me like to hear the story over and over again it's, and again. It's not that me do love it, you know, but... Some of the preacher them can sound so dull, they really put you to sleep. True, <laughs> man. But it's only once a year. Some of them put you to sleep all year round. <laughs> Especially True, in another man. church, yeah. But you know, seriously, it's only when I think how Mary, the mother of Jesus, did feel that I can manage some time to deal with the Jude him. Hmm, aye, ma'am. But many of us forget that Judas did have a mother too, you know. That may be so, ma'am. But after him was such a wicked wretch. Him deserved to die the way he died. And what about Jesus? Him deserved that? No, ma'am. Hmm. No, no. But his scripture fulfilled. Hmm. Just the same. Hmm. 
how those wicked people couldn't discern that Jesus did only mean them good mm. and then kill him? No, so it go, ma'am. <laughs> Some time in we hastiness, we destroy the very leader that is the best thing for us. You take right now. <laughs> but it's a human being still. We so busily scandaling the leaders and people in public life. We uncle say no. We sometimes don't look to the future. So it is, so it ah, is. Yes, well, I will see you tomorrow. I, I, I will try to make it. Yes, ma'am, if life spears. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, oh. <clears throat> Lord, Miss Vy, the gas and the piano. Uh, yeah. uh, that mm. killed me. And, and listen, don't Ay. be too hard on Julia. After all, it's your own flesh and blood. And him young. Aye, ma'am. Sometimes I remember when he was a little helpless something in my hand and my heart go full. And even when he was growing up, he, was, he, he used to comfort mm. me. But since he take up with all the company and the politics business, I can't stand him. Sometimes he's like him is a stranger. <laughs> but no mind, no mind. You love him nonetheless. True, ma'am. Mm. True, true. You know... Hmm. A mother's tender care never ceases to towards the child. The child. No, so, <laughs> well, good till tomorrow, God willing. All right, Miss Vail, till tomorrow. <laughs> For I say unto you, beloved, this land is no different from the place in which our leader and savior was born 2,000 years ago. The people are human. They had their problems, they had their struggles, they had their prejudices. You all know the story of how Jesus was born, how he started his ministry in Canaan of Galilee, how there were those who loved him, people who followed him, people who worshipped him, who would do anything for him. Because whatever he was, he brought them hope. Hope of a deliverance from the bondage of sin, from hope from the bondage of oppression. Oh yes, they loved him. Amen. Those he fed, those to whom he gave back their humanity, their dignity and pride. Oh yes, beloved, they loved him. But there were those who hated him the rich and powerful, those who sought to enslave and to oppress the poor. And they plotted all manner of ways to overthrow him. Oh yes, chief among these were the powerful priests of the temple in Jerusalem. Judas, Judas, how can you be so stubborn? Mother, listen to me. For years, our people have suffered under the oppression of Rome. The high priests, who are supposed to be the guardians of the people, have either fallen prey to Roman imperialist domination or to their own greed and power struggle. Jesus of Nazareth is the only hope to mobilize our people so that we can rid ourselves of our Roman overlords, restore our priests and temple and the traditions of our people to their rightful position. And what of Herod the king? Oh, he's nothing but a figurehead, a tool of the imperialists. Once we have installed Jesus as king, we will be able to organize our people for real independence and serious development. Jesus as king? You are born a king, not made so by decree or overthrow. Mother, we must forget those old ideas. Jesus, as King of the Jews, is the embodiment of spiritual and temporal strength. You, you should see how the people acclaim him. And when he comes into Jerusalem tomorrow, you'll see the support he has from the masses. He will be a great king. I know it. And what about him? Hmm? Is he ready to take on this, this, this great burden? Well, he's a bit reluctant, but we'll force his hand. If he refuses tomorrow, I'll try the other plan. What plan? Trust me, mother. 
careful, Judas. Your father spent his life trying to right the wrongs of our time, to bring justice to our people. He lost his life fighting, left you, my only son, inheriting your father's zeal. I have prayed for you to give up the fight. Settle down to your scrolls and studies. Become the great teacher you once dreamed of being. Help me to run the business. Take Sarah as your wife and give me many strong grandsons to love and pamper. When you decided to follow Jesus, I knew I'd lost you. This is why I hate him. He has stolen my son. Mother, mother, listen. Don't hate him. When he is king, I will be his grand treasurer. You and Sarah will have wealth and luxury, and you'll have servants at your bidding. I promise you'll see. Judas, that is a myth. No good can come of this. I want no servants and luxury, only the love that will warm my heart when I am grown old. Jesus has taken all that from me. How can I not despise him, my son? My son, give up this dream now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes! <laughs> the trap is set. And once more the bait is laid for the son of man and the son of woman at the same time. And once more the clever fox succeeds to get a front man to do the dirty work. And the poor people are led to believe what the power hungry wants them to believe. Like every time, in every age, it is the poor that always suffer. And in every age, when the deliverer appear, when the privileged recognize a true leader of the people, they plot and scheme to destroy him. And the poor is always the ones used to do the dirty work. Mm. While two bulls fight, the grass is trampled. While the fight for power goes on, while the hand set is taking place, it's the children of the poor who go to their makeshift bed, hungry and unwashed. And the sick and the indigent go unattended. Oh, children of Israel, it is for you that the world holds its head bowed by sorrow or by prayer. As you stumble about in the darkness of the ignorance of your condition. Now the time draws near and the season is fulfilled. Now the son returns to his father's house, but there are no mansions prepared for the prince. But that is another story. No chamber prepared for the bridegroom, but that too is another story. But you in your time are witnesses and participants in the unfolding of a plot and a counterplot, and you can choose what you do. You can sit by and fold your hands and watch history pass you by and be safe if irrelevant. Or take up the green branch that welcomes the king or the sword and the stave that fights for his kingdom, or the thorn bush to make the torturing crown for his kingly head. I, I choose welcoming branches and entreat that you follow suit and shout the loud Hosanna that hail kings down the ages. Shout Hosanna! 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 The role of Jesus the Christ will be read by Damian Radcliffe. These people, vile oppressors, are the very ones who go about in fine robes, eating the best, living in fine residences, while the poor and their children go about begging and naked, hungry. They pretend to have the interest of the poor at heart, 
Yet they make all sorts of rules and regulations and set up systems to keep them in poverty from generation to generation. Yet they talk glibly about the work of God. Hypocrites! That's what they are. The God of Israel is a God of truth. And you have done terrible and wicked things, pretending to be acting in the name of God. You have defiled God's holy laws. You have set up systems which prevent God's children from entering his kingdom. You insist on in offerings because they fill your storehouses. That's why you regard these offerings more important than the altar of God on which they are presented. The show is more important than the purity of your hearts. Fine clothes and fancy exterior with hearts full of wickedness, inequity and greed. You are nothing but whitewashed tombs which look fine and beautiful on the outside, but with decaying corpses on the inside. You spread lies and false rumors, scandalize your sisters, shake your brother's hand and smile, and stab him in the back. You lie and cheat when you have dealings with one another and come before God's altar with your heart in your hands and expect God to bless you? Look at the temple of God, a house of prayer and praise to God. Yet you have made it into a den of thieves and racketeers. But hear my words, listen carefully. I tell you, not one single stone shall be left on top of the other in this place. Every one of them shall be thrown down. O oh, priests and blind leaders, you who are responsible for the spiritual leadership of the people, you have deceived them and don't practice what you preach. You preach humility and yet you love and honor and delight in homage. You like to be addressed as teacher, leader, but you have failed to give the true teaching and leadership. You are selfish, hypocrites and vile defilers of God's holy law. But the Son of God shall wage war on your power and privilege. Your exploitation of the poor and put an end to their misery and oppression. I will wage a fierce war on all injustices in high or low quarters. <laughs> you are mistaken if you think I came to bring peace to the world. I came to set the earth on fire. I came to bring divisions, fathers against sons and sons against fathers, daughters against their mothers and mothers against their daughters. There will be no peace until there is justice. And even so, not peace as you know it, calm and without disturbance, where injustice is accepted as normal. There must be justice for all, equality before the sight of God. Then, and only then, I will give you my peace, the peace that is beyond your understanding. How strange, how strange. You can look at the clouds and know it is going to rain, predict the weather. But you do not know the meaning of these times. But you hear strange rumors in these times. People fill your ears with all manner of stories in these times. People are afraid of their own sins in these times and for their own ends spread fear and panic among the simple people, using people for their own purpose. 
but hear me well. God has sent me to establish his kingdom of justice and righteousness. And those who hear his word and follow me will be saved. There is no other way. No one can inherit the Father's kingdom except through me. I am the truth, the light, the way to life everlasting. And if you do not heed my warning and change your ways, you will die forever. I know there are those who plot against my life. I know even now that there are those who do not like what I stand for, who are consorting with their accomplices to destroy me. Oh, yes. But you make a mistake because you cannot destroy truth. You cannot touch the glory of my father's kingdom, my kingdom. You cannot. You may destroy this body, but in three days I'll rebuild it anew. Destroy his body, and in three days I'll rise again. Heed my warning and come with me. I will lead you to God's kingdom, the kingdom of the righteous and the just. The high priests, Annas and Caiaphas, played a devious role in convincing Judas to betray Jesus. In the meeting with them, Judas stated that he wanted Jesus to be crowned king. Annas and Caiaphas duped Judas, telling him of the great part he would eventually play in history and the money he would get if he identified Jesus so that he could be arrested. Judas agreed to the arrest, but he stated that no harm should come to Jesus. <laughs> what a lie that turned out to be. Thy kingdom come on earth, thy will be done on earth. Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may give glory to you. You gave me the authority over all mankind so that I may give the gift of eternal life to all your children. I have finished the work you gave me to do. I have shown your glory on earth. I have made you known to the earth. I have given the message that you gave me. And I pray for those who have received and believed the message of your love. While I was here on earth with your chosen ones, I protected them. Now that I'm coming to you, I ask that you keep them in your care as you did your own begotten son. Father in heaven, your name is forever holy. Give me strength to bear the suffering you have set me. You have given me an awful responsibility and I am weak and frail in body and in faith. If it is possible, Father, take away this responsibility. It is a heavy burden. Yet if there's no other way to come to you, then I submit to your will, whatever you ordain, Father, not what I desire. I only pray for the strength and courage to do what you have commanded. Take from me, my God and Father, all thoughts of selfishness and personal desires. Your desires, Father, not mine, and use me for your purpose and your will. And Father, 
give us all peace. For you alone are powerful. To you belong the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Master. Say no more, Judas. I knew this would happen long before you thought of betraying me with a kiss. In this upcoming scene, we share the pain, agony, and remorse between a mother and son. Greetings, mother. Judas. Is it true what they say about Jesus? What is it that you've heard? That even now he is before Herod, being tried for blasphemy and sedition. That is so, Mother. The trial commenced a short while ago. And that he is to be sentenced to death? That will never happen. Old Reuben, the dove seller at the West Gate, said there are rumors that one of his own disciples had organized for him to be arrested. That is also true. But be at ease, no harm will befall him. How are you so sure of this, Judas? Mother, he is God's son. The son of God Almighty, all-powerful. Do you think his father would see him put to death? He will be freed. You wait and see. It's all part of a plan. And if he's not freed, then what, Judas? Your king will be executed. That will never happen, mother. You don't understand. Jesus is God's son. God sent him to free us, to rule over his kingdom. Jesus is the promised Lord, the Messiah, the hope of our nation. God, who directs everything, has decided that there is to be a new king. We are just here to see that God's purpose is fulfilled. We work for the kingdom. Judas, it was you who organized his arrest. You consorted with the priests. Oh my God. Jud Judas, he was your friend. How could you? I was an instrument, mother. Even as you were when you bore me, I was the force. Judas, you were used by the priests. Even as I used them, you'll see. Once he's crowned king, God intended me to do what I did. Shut your impertinence! How dare you presume to know the will of God? Mother! Do not call me mother! I bore no such despicable son. Oh, please, mother! You are accursed! You betrayed your friend, and because of that, I and my house are forever damned! No, no mother, no! Not damned. We will be honored when Lord Jesus rules as king. That will never be, Judas. He will be killed by the Romans and the priests acting in concert. You don't really believe that? It has happened before. From the prophets to John the Baptist. Oh, Judas. You are but a child in this game, and you would not listen to the voice of reason that I should have lived to see the day when I regret that I bore you, that all the joy you brought to me as a child is taken from me, and that all my hopes are destroyed in my old age. Oh, my God, my God, I am forsaken. I am forsaken. Mother. 
Listen to me. I have listened to you too long. I have secretly hoped that what you were saying about the kingdom was true, even though I knew in my heart that it would never come to pass. I pray that your heart would change and that you would give up this dream. Now you have brought nothing but disaster and disgrace to me and the whole household, the entire nation forever. And though it breaks my heart, I must pronounce the ancient curse. Mother! Judas is carried in the name of the great unmentionable God of our ancestors. May your name be not spoken except in dishonor. May no seed spring from your loins. May your death bring joy to them that knew you and your name blotted out forever. Mother! Depart from me, accursed of Israel, and never enter my sight again. Please, mother! Go, Judas, go! The very sly Herod tried to convince Pilate to put Jesus to death, but Pilate pled innocence and washed his hands of the matter. It was then left to Herod to instruct that this just man, Jesus, be crucified. What have I done? My God, what have I done? I was sure that you would have saved yourself that you would call on your father to send his army of angels to destroy your enemy. Judas. Judas. You did not listen to the voice of Jesus. My kingdom is not of this world. And even if you did not, that your father would send his host to free you and set you on the throne of David. Turn in your despair and repent. There is still time. I gave the priests back the filthy money they gave me. It was not important. I wanted you to be king. Jesus, I believed in you. I believed you would have saved yourself. How many times have we used the name of Jesus as a talisman? Like you use a guard ring or a good luck charm. Oh, Jesus, I believed in you. You saved so many others, rescued them, brought them back from death. Now you must die? Why? Why, Jesus? I cannot live. If you die, I cannot live. No, Judas. He dies that you might have life and have it to its fullest. I cannot live. I cannot live. No, no, Judas. No. I cannot live. No, Judas. Here's good death in our passion. And we shut out the voice of reason when we need to, when we need most to listen. And those who do not listen are lost. Behold, my friends, a moment of triumph for the enemy of the people, the plotters and schemers, and the men whose heads are bloated by their own ambition, too drunk with the lust of power and with the force of their desires that drive them to madness and despair. They sacrifice the hopes of the people on the altar of their greed and envy and selfishness, not caring. But, but no mother's tender care cease toward the child she bears, and no womb forgets the pain. And if you sin, condemn your soul, you must pray. My God! My God! Why have you?
you forsaken me? But her sorrowing heart knew his end the day she knew his beginning. For she was warned, we are told. The angel gave her the full story, we are told. And she accepted the burden, we are told. But could she know the pangs of this suffering? Could a mother's tender care suffice? I'm thirsty. How many times she, as young mother, hear our young child that play in the garden of their humble home in Nazareth, hear those same words. Mommy, I am thirsty. Mommy, I'm hungry. How many times has she lifted him to her young, full breast or placed his little cup or bowl to his mouth to quench his thirst? to satisfy his hunger. Oh, woman, mother, how can you bear the pain? Are you human? Blessed among women, what feelings now echo in your shriveled womb? As agony flows from your heart to your eyes, and what of that other mother what of the woman who son the world will blame forever for the killing of their hope the betrayal of the god king come to deliver the people from the bondage of imperialist rome and from the chains of their own making whose name will forever mean traitor what of the mother of the man judas disciple Betrayer, whose distorted body swings from a frail life at the city north wall. O oh, mother of sons, and of sons' sons, fathers of mothers and husbands of daughters, for which mother do you now dry your eyes? For which mother? Do you weep? Then, if you sin, condemn your soul. But oh my God, it is so hard to bear. Oh God, give me strength. Oh God, give him strength. Oh God, give the strength of endurance to your people and have mercy on my son, my son, my, my son. son. My son, I have lost my only son. Who are you who cries out for your son, even as I weep for mine who hangs on the cross? Do not ask. The answer truthfully given would mock me beyond my grave, even as my son bears the eternal shame. Oh, poor mother. Poor and shameful, outcast, and reviled, who sees no hope but to follow my own son to his untimely grave. Please, mother, tell me who you are. He was my son. The betrayer, Judas, was my son. He was a good boy, and I loved him. He, he always was good to me. Ever since his father died, he has taken care of me. He was, he, he was my only son, and, and I loved him. Sister, in mourning and sorrow, I do not mock at your grief. 
We are but poor vessels of God in his divine plan. And mothers that we are, we bear the burden. The grief I have, no one can share. I have lost the one and only son I had. He came to me in the years when, when no woman bears a child. Where is your son? They say he ran to the north wall and threw himself over. I am on my way to find him. Poor, poor mother. You don't understand. You, you, you. Only a mother understands a mother's grief. And we are born to this great suffering. I have hated him for stealing my son's love. Can he forgive me? Can you forgive me? Can he forgive my son? Our forgiveness is dearly bought, my sister. And there the price. Turn to the cross of Christ, O oh mother in grief. The Son of Man has ransomed us all. And we wait for the day when his promise is fulfilled, when death is conquered and sin is no more. You bring small comfort to me. But I cannot believe he has forgiven us unless I hear it from his own lips. And, and know he's dead. I shall never know. I shall never know. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God. Amen. Amen. And a thousand times. Amen. It is finished, Father. I return to you. Come, my sister, it is over. His suffering is past. We must prepare his body for burial. Then we will go with you to find your son. I am grateful, but I must go find him before his body is further defiled. And I must go alone. Farewell then, and I will pray for you, for us both, who bear the burden of a mother's love. I trust we will meet again soon. My son, my son, my friendless, fatherless, He was my firstborn, my only, the one to whom these breasts have given nourishment. And I tended him with all the love a mother can bestow on her first and only child. I remember when he was a baby when he took his first step, grew his first tooth, and spoke my name for the first time. I tended him with fear and trembling when he had a, a fever, and I remember him with joy at play in the noon sun, brown and frisky as a new lamb. He loved the flowers, the birds, the trees, the butterflies. He loved the rain, how he used to sing and laugh in the rain. Even now, I hear his sweet voice singing in the rain. 
I watched him grow into a fine young man. I had such, such hopes for him. He made us all proud. When his father died, he was so good to me. He inherited his father's good looks and his burning passion for justice for our oppressed people. And he followed the Nazarene because he too spoke of love and justice and freedom. He too would have our people free. But oh, my son, my son, why? Why? You tried to explain and I would not listen. Instead, I cursed you, cursed you to your death. Forgive me, forgive me. They even now cry your shame in the city. Who will tell them it was your love and not your hate that sent Jesus to his death? They cry your eternal shame, but you shall not lack a mother's tender care. I will bathe you as I did when you were a baby. Wrap your body in my finest linen as I did when you were born. And kiss your sleeping eyelids as I did then. Little baby born of light, stars and moon and sun so bright. Father will feed you, rock you, love you. Mother will name you Judas. Soon you'll grow into a man. Take your place like others can. In a crowd you'll be tall and proud. Mother will name you Judas, 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 my son, my son. Jesus, have mercy on Judas, my son. <laughs> For the sacrifice was to give you that choice. Make your own choice and do not listen to the voices of those that preach destruction, not creation, of tearing down and not building up. Listen to the voice of the one crying in the wilderness of your time and suffering so that those who dream in the sleep of their ignorance can waken to the reality of their fulfillment. For the dream of life is a long one, and those who dream forever sleep in the sleep of death, in ignorance and poverty of spirit. So awaken, my daughters, from the dream you are dreaming, and face the reality of your life in your time, in your place. Miss Birdie, Miss Birdie, wake up. What a way she oh. can't sleep, Miss Birdie. Oh, Miss Vi, Miss Vi, Miss Vi, what, what, what happened? The, the, the service done? I, 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 I didn't just doze off, you know. We, we're passing, gone. Just doze off? 
You've been sleeping for so long. Right there you sit down sleeping. Well, Mom, I, I really sit down there, but in my dream, I, I had a journey in, in my dream. In your dream? Yes, Mom. Terrible dream, terrible dream. I, I, I see so many things. I, I dreamed Jesus and Pontius Pilate what? and Herod. And, and, and I went to the foot of the cross, Miss Vi. Slam bam to the foot of the cross. I dream say, I, I dream say, I see the whole thing. Hi, Miss Bird, you really sleep sound, man. And you know the sermon was so good. Shepherd really preached good today. Hmm? But me not like the end. It, it stopped too sudden. Oh, you mean? Well, what happened after them buried Jesus? Uh, you know well know him rise again. You know, Miss Vi, that is the part I would have liked to see. See a birdie, much as me love me Jesus, me no want to see him doppy. But him did come back in the flesh. That may be so. But the living and the dead now have no partner lot. You always are wrong joking, Miss <laughs> Vi. But, 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 but Jesus was different to me. <laughs> I true, you know. <laughs> that resurrection must have been something to say. So, <sighs> when you're dreaming, sometimes you wake up before the nicest part. <laughs> <sighs> As Shepherd would say, look into the book of your life. For it may be time to turn the page, to start a new, a new beginning. We hope you found meaning and that you were inspired by the reading of these excerpts from Easton Lee's iconic production, The Rope and the Cross. We are most grateful to his widow, Mrs. Jean Lee, and his children, Ingrid Lorraine, Laurie, Barrington, Barry, Arlene, and Everard, Evie, and their children for giving permission. Thanks to each person who contributed to this production. Very special thanks to the following people. Donet Chin Loy Chang, Easton Lee's niece, for planting the seed and believing that I was equal to the task to bring it to maturity. Keith Campbell, CEO of the PBCJ, who threw his full support behind this project. Also, Joanna Lewin, for giving permission for use of Dr. Olive Lewin's musical arrangements. Also to Christine MacDonald Nevers and the Jamaican folk singers for permitting the use of their music throughout. The words of the final musical selection, Come We Go Up A Galilee over which the credits will be run, were written by Easton Lee, with music by the founder of the Jamaican folk singers, Dr. Olive Lewin. On behalf of the cast and the production crew of the Public Broadcasting Corporation, Jamaica, I am Faye Ellington. Thank you for watching. Come we go to Galilee, go tell our disciples that our Lord is risen today. Bright angel, roll away the stone, roll away the stone from the sand. Our old door, our Lord is risen today. Bright angel, roll away the stone. Yeah.